No stalwart force. No revival of legends. No structure decks. And no secret packs. Completely free to play. My crafting materials? Controlled by you. Join me as I attempt to climb the Master Duel ranks in this series, Master Pack Only. Welcome to the first episode of Master Pack Only. First things first, some caveats to go over. I will be allowing myself to open legacy packs and have access to the dual strategy solo mode rewards. Namely, Regeki, Monster Reborn, Rota, three Mamite and Captain, and three Destruction Gemmas. I will also be opening the three Master Pack bundles, so I will get access to Ash, Solemn Judgment, and Lightning Storm, bringing our starting deck to a total of 12 cards. There is a pretty good chance that my deck goes nowhere and I get hard stuck in bronze, but that is all part of the challenge. It's time to plow through some solo mode so I can unlock some rewards. Right, so we're going to just fire away into dual strategy. Grab the rewards nice and quick. Right, first mission complete. Regeki. Monster Reborn unlocked. Marmite and Captain unlocked. 600 gems. Nice. That's second practice done. Another 600 gems. It's third practice down. And that's another 600 gems. That means another 600 gems. That jewel complete. We get level 3 and we also get an unlock. Reinforcement of the army unlocked. Destruction jammer unlocked all right so here we are back on the master pack only account so last thing we did was we went into solo mode and we cleared most of it uh, we've got a lot of the gems that we now have access to uh, and we've got a lot of the rewards so what we're actually going to do now is we're going to start cracking packs and the idea is we'll use those packs to build some sort of rudimentary deck so that we can go through and not have to use the loner decks and use our own deck to get the rest of the gems from solo mode so we can then use those to open more packs then build an actual deck that we will try and take into ranked so yeah the the first thing we're going to do is buy the jewel pass um, I think this is a pretty good investment, it will get us a lot of crafting materials and it should give us back the gems that we're going to pay into it anyway. So this might hurt us a little bit at the start, but I think overall it will end up being a boon. So we're just going to grab that quick. Then we'll go over to the bundles and we'll just start grabbing these bundles. Let's just start with the Ash Blossom one. And this will be the first master packs on the account. Oh, these look like some pretty good packs to start off with. Obviously we have the ult, well, should be an ultra. It should be six, at least six supers. Let's see what we get. Oh, well, that was a mistake. Unfortunately, we didn't want to click that, but since we've done it and we hopefully won't do it again, we'll just have to flick through and see what we got. So we got towers, the old Apocryphal towers. This, I believe, was a really powerful card back in the pendulum day and it's still a really good card if we can actually manage to get it out we'd have to have a whole clee deck though as anything tri-brigade ferrajit so you know maybe there's a world in which we build tri-brigade i mean i don't think we'll be able to get all the pieces for it but we got one so maybe there is hope heroic champion kusanagi so level three warrior type monster once per turn during either player's turn when a trap card is activated you can attach one exit from this card and get the activation if you do destroy it it's going 500 attack I mean, so it requires three level four warriors, so maybe there's a one we should do that. Melfi Mummy. So Melfi's are pretty good, I believe. Two level two beast monsters. Once per turn, quick effect, you can attach one beast monster from your hand or face up on the field. This card is material. This card can set place on the material. So three, cannot destroy a battle. Four, you take no battle damage from battles involving this card. Five, win. An attack is declared through this card effect. Uh, through this, bleh, involving this card. You can put the damage penalty. I don't think it's the the best but again if we you know, having any extra deck card at all should be good for us at the moment so tg wonder magician a tuna and a tg monster this card of synchro summons which is trying to destroy it i mean again any extra deck cards will probably end up being okay at the very least uh so reven dreads yep reven dreads are pretty cool um we'll have to see if we can get any reven dread rituals to actually use it uh Poseidra, the atlantean dragon 
Uh, you tribute three level three or lower water monsters, special summons card from your hand or graveyard. When you do return all spawn tracks left with the hand, I mean this might actually be usable. Twenty eight hundred, we can special summon it. We have to get enough uh, low level water monsters, but there should be plenty of those in the game. We'll see if we pull any. Spiral Quick Fix. Uh, if this card is normal or special summoned, you can add one spiral gear from your deck to your hand. If this card is in your graveyard, you can draw a spiral super agent. You can discard one card to summon this card. Banish on this field. Um, so we'd have to make sure we have basically the entire spiral deck around this card. Then we can just, just splash this in. Um, but we'll, you know, if we get spirals. Magical Musketeer Caspar. During either player's turn, you can activate Magical Musket Spell Construction from your hand. If a spell trap card is activated in this card's column, except for the you get one Magical Musket. Yeah? If nothing else, it's a normal summonable 2000 defense, which might actually be pretty good for starting off. Fusion Recycling Plant, just get back polymerization from the graveyard. Yep, it's pretty pretty good if we go on a fusion strategy, I guess. Icarus Attack, now this is actually a really decent card, because if we are on any wing beast, this could be a really good interruption for our opponent's turn. High Speed Roid Kendama, so we're on the rares now, so we'll just have a quick flick through. So we Oh, a super rare, Triple D, Abyss King, Gilgamesh. So two DD monsters, so again, we have to go all in on DDs if we want to try and get this out. Act to its effect, you can special summon monsters in your turn, except DD monsters. Also place two DD Pendulum monsters with different names from your deck in your Pendulum zones, and if you do, take a thousand damage. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty good. I mean, if we actually do get the DD stuff, maybe we'll take a look at this. Some more Jirax. Well, oh, Tomatical Genesis, and let's see what our Ultra Rare is. It is Battle Shogun of the Six Samurai. Wow, Six Samurai, that's a blast from the past. This card is Link Summoned. You can discover one card, such a deck for the card that has the effect that places Bushido counters. So that'll be all of their um, spell cards, I would imagine. You can use the effect of Battle Shogun of the Six Samurai once per turn. Each time Six Samurai monster from the North Summoned the field, points to place one Bushido counter on this card, gain 100 attack. Okay. I mean, again, if we can, <laughs> we'll avoid the skip button. Go. And, ooh, Baguska. So, level four, two, just generic. Uh, once per turn, during the standby phase, detach one material from this card. If you cannot, destroy it. This uh, attack position card cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Your opponent cannot target this attack position card with card effects. While this card is uh, face up in defense position, change all face up monsters on the field to defense position. Also negate the activated effects of monsters that are in defense position when that effect was activated. So this seems like a pretty good wall. Um, we'll have to see what we can actually do with it. Ash, next super is all upgraded to an ultra, DDD Gust Hiking Alexander. If three or more DDD monsters are on the field, this card gets 3,000 attack. 
If another DD monster is normal or special summoned to your field while this card is on the field, uh, you can target one DD monster in your graveyard, special summon it. I mean, yeah, seems seems pretty good. Uh, level 10 Synchro might be a bit difficult to get out. We'll have to see what other DD cards we get. Obviously, we've got quite a lot of them so far. An Obelisk of Tormentor. <laughs> okay, um, well, you never know. We might be playing this, uh, especially in our in our first couple of games. We'll have to see how that goes. Try a mid. All right, and let's see what our ultra is. It is Borrowed Furious Dragon. So two dark dragons, quick effect. You can target one monster. You control one card your opponent controls, destroy them. You can banish this card from your graveyard and target one dark link monster in your graveyard or summon it with a counter to its effect. So this is actually pretty good, but I don't know how many dark dragons we've actually got at the moment. We'll have to see what we can do with that. Oh, there it is straight away. All right, so Samsara Dragon of Rebirth. So this is a Dark Dragon, so this might be relevant to all the other Dark Dragon support cards we have. Uh, if this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, uh, or if this card you control is sent to the graveyard by an opponent's card effect, you can target one monster in either player's graveyard except Samsara. Special summon it. You can only set to Samsara once per turn. Uh, yeah, I mean, seems seems okay. Might be able to catch someone off guard with that. Rose Infinitrack. Our first super is DD Swirl Slime. This is actually one of the better ones, right? This is a uh, this card in your hand. You can fusion summon. This is one that pro uh, allows you to fusion summon. Um, so yeah, and you can fusion summon from your hand. Uh, you can use this card from your hand as basically a poly, and then you can special uh, banish it from the graveyard, special summon a DD monster from your hand. So yeah, it's pretty pretty good for the old DD strategy. And our other super is. Number 32, Shark Drake. 2800, three level 4 monsters. Once per turn, when this car attacking card destroys a principal of battle and sent to the graveyard, you can attach one Xyz material from this card, so you summon the destroyed monster to your opponent's side of the field in attack position and lose a thousand. If you summon it this way, this card can make a second attack. So I guess it's just trying to get in for a load of damage, maybe try and finish her. Yeah, seems pretty good. Constella and our ultra is Chaos Dragon Levianir. Okay. Okay. Um, so if we're on Dark and Lights and especially if we're on like dragons, maybe, maybe we're gonna try and build Dragon Link. Uh special summon one monster from your graveyard in defense position, shuffle a random card from your opponent's hand into the deck, or destroy two cards on the field. Just a really solid card. The only real drawback of this card is it cannot attack the turn it is uh summoned. So that kind of sucks, but I guess if we could link it off or use it for a XC summon. I mean, level 8, if we get a big 8 monster. Okay, so we, I think so far our pools have been okay. There's Solemn Judgment, obviously that's going to be pretty big. So have our mission rewards, so we'll go and claim those quick, just to get a few more gems, so we have more to work with. 
So we go to our unlimited missions and then claim all our rewards at once. Let's see what we end up with. Another 6,700 gems, some legacy packs, a bunch of uh, cosmetics. And there we go. All right, let's get back into... We should now have stuff in the gift box, I would have thought. But uh, maybe, we just, maybe we're just short. So, we will now be opening just master packs. So we'll do 10 packs at a time. Hopefully we will avoid the skip button. girl first super chaos hunter and second is plunder all right let's check out the chaos hunter quick so when your opponent switches summons a monster except in every step you can discard one card special in your hand your opponent cannot banish cards so you know maybe maybe we play this we should be running into a lot of special summons cheating out 2500 attacks pretty good uh, and then plunder patrol ship so two level four monsters you can discard one plunder patrol card which again we have none at the moment uh target one effect monster your opponent controls banish it then you can add a plunder patrol spell trap from your deck to your hand so this this card seems like it'd be really good if we had more plunder patrol cards but i believe this is the first one we've gotten so maybe not so good at the moment Samurai. Ooh, an ultra rare red eyes darkness metal dragon. Looks like we might be building like a really bad budget dragon link deck at this rate. Oh, is it going to be the first card? Yes, it is. So, Lyralisk Ensemble Robin. So, I don't know much about Lyralisk, I haven't actually played them before. But I I assume since this is an Ultras, it's probably one of their better cards. It gains 500 attack for each material used, uh, attached to it. If your opponent special summons a monster, except during the damage step, you can detach one material from this card. Target one of those special summon monsters. Return, this, return to the hand of this card is in your possession since the graveyard by the opponent's card effect. Don't want to lose your graveyard, add it to your hand. So, this seems pretty good. Gets rid of a special summon monster and can return a card to your hand. That seems, that seems real good.
rupture. We have oh, there's an ultra hot red dragon archfiend abyss. So one tuna and a non tuna dark dragon synchro monster. Quick effect: you can target one face of card your opponent controls and negate its effects until the end of this turn. So I believe this is also a dragon link card. So again, maybe we um maybe we do go down that route. Force Resonator, Crystron Rosenix, and another Gradle card, Gradle Eagle. This one's pretty good if I recall. If this card is much to destroy battle, you can take one face that monster. Your opponent controls equip this card to the thigh, which equip this monster effect, take control of that monster. So, yeah, it's a, it's a snatch deal. It's a very slow snatch deal on our body. Infernity, and our ultra is Black Rose Dragon. This might actually have to go in our deck. Destroy cards on the field. I mean, yeah, just popping all monsters on the field. That might be super relevant, especially for the lower ranks. Invocation. Okay, so we have one invocation, one invoked fusion, and the uh, the field spell. Ninja Grandmaster Saizo. So two ninja monsters. So we can summon this technically. During your main phase, you can set a ninjutsu our spell trap, which again we still have none. Uh, from the deck, you can use effective ninja grandmaster once per turn. When this card, which, I mean, maybe it's set up for later for <laughs> <laughs> ninjas at some point. I don't know.
Keeper, Live Twins, and Trap Trick Sarah. So this is the main Trap Tricks card, right? I think this is the link one they always go into and then just start just value engineering out of it. I mean, it's good. We don't have any. I don't think we have any trap, you know, whole trap cards, and I don't think we have any other trap tricks. But another ultra dragon ravine oh, yeah. <laughs> i'm just slowly collecting all of the dragon link cards magical merchant okay it's an interesting one i don't know how good that's going to be now probably not very found a new secret pack Infernoid Deviati. Cannot be normal summon a set, must be special summon from your hand or graveyard by banishing three Infernoid monsters from your hand or graveyard whose total levels or ranks of all effect monsters you control at eight or lower. When this card is special summoned, you can destroy all spell and trackers on the field except void cards. Once per turn, when another monster's effect is activated quickly, you contribute one monster to negate the activation. That seems good if we can actually somehow get it out. Again, spy plane and our ultra is blue eyes alternative white dragon so not bad but we don't have any blue eyes white dragons so i don't know if we can actually do anything with it we have a way to cheat it out and another lyralist card uh, so if this card is XC summoned, you can target one face on the foot against 300 attack and defense for each material attached to this card. Once per turn, you can attach one material from this card, add a level one winged beast monster from your deck to your hand. 
Uh, all battle damage taken by Azeroth is going to your opponent. Okay, so that seems pretty good if we maybe do manage to find some actual main deck Luralist monsters. bunch of cards which means hopefully our mission should have completed by us getting a load of secret pack unlocks so if we could round this up to a nice even to reclaim all it's 350 back up to a thousand so we will go back to the shop and we'll go to our master packs ultra rare guaranteed i mean we'll take that Dino Wrestler, Striker Dragon. <laughs> okay, well, we're slowly getting there. Three packs remaining. Um, I don't really want to open them when it's not in packs of 10, so we're probably just going to leave that for now. So now we've opened all of these packs, I'm going to go away, have a quick flick through. When I've got a deck, I'll be back and we'll see about playing out the rest of solo mode. So opening these packs took a little bit longer than I thought it would. We will try and get the next video with more gameplay out tomorrow, but thank you for watching today's episode and stay tuned because we're going to hopefully not crash and burn into bronze and stay there. Thank you.